When you create a brand new Flare project, you can choose from several factory templates. A template is simply an existing set of files that give you a head start in your project. After your new project is loaded into Flare, you can change or remove any of the files provided by the template. Let's take a quick stroll through these templates to learn a little about each one. There's one template called empty at the root level. It would be more accurate to call that template almost empty because it actually does contain a few files and some content, but very little. There's just one very short topic and a handful of other supporting files. So if you want to start your new project out with as little as possible, choose the empty template. The rest of the templates are organized into four folders. The first folder is named online. It contains several templates that are set up initially to produce online output only. And this doesn't mean that you can't add print-based output if you use these templates, because you can. And that goes for any template you choose. You can add, remove, or change whatever you want. For example, if you create a project based on an online template, you can add several PDF targets to your project if you want. It's also possible to create different projects from templates that you're interested in, and then import some of the files from one project into another. The first template in the online folder is called Knowledge Base. If you intend to use Flare to generate an online knowledge base, this project demonstrates one approach you may consider. It contains topics that are designed to provide information that's common in a knowledge base, such as article details, a summary, a full description, steps for a solution, and more. Side navigation and top navigation are two kinds of flexible, frameless HTML5 output that can be designed to look like a modern website. The main difference is that with side navigation, the main menu is positioned at the left or right, but in top navigation, the main menu is at the top. Responsive output is automatically enabled with these output types. This means the content display changes automatically depending on the width of the screen. Tripane is a type of HTML5 output that lets you generate output with three distinct frames, a navigation pane on the left, a toolbar and search bar on the top, and the main body pane. The format is often found in more traditional online help systems. The second folder is named Online and Print. It contains templates that will produce online outputs just like those in the online folder. Notice that the names are quite similar. The difference is that these templates are also designed to produce PDF manuals from the same source files. The third folder is named Print. It contains several templates that are set up initially to produce print-based output only. Again, Flare will let you add online output projects created from any of these templates. The brochure template contains two topics and two page layouts designed to create a brochure with three panes. One of the most important things to remember about the brochure templates and print templates in general is this. When you open the topics in the XML editor, make sure to select the print layout view rather than the web layout view. Otherwise, the content can be quite difficult to work with because it's displayed without reference to the page layout behind it. The Policies and Procedures template contains some topics and other files designed to produce documentation for company policies and procedures. The Product Foldout template is ideal for displaying product information and brief instructions in a four-pane foldout. As with the brochure templates, you should make sure that you work with the topics in Print Layout view. The User Guide template contains some starter topics and other files designed to produce user manuals. The output is very similar to the PDFs found in the templates from the Online and Print folder. The fourth folder is named Tutorials. It contains only one template at this time, which is named San Diego. This template is not like the other project templates. While you can use this template as a basis for project output, it was really created to be used with the Flare Getting Started tutorial, which exists to help you learn Flare's basic features. As you follow the steps in the Getting Started tutorial, you'll make changes to this template's content. Under the list of factory templates, you'll also see this link, which you can click to open the template gallery on the Madcap Software website. From here, you can take a look at many other template designs and download any that you want. Among these other templates are the Employee Handbook Manual template and the Medical Office Policy and Procedure template. These are somewhat similar to the Policies and Procedures factory template in Flare. However, these templates contain lots of actual, real-life content in them, which you can leverage, making minor adjustments for your own needs. If you download any templates from the Madcap Software website, you can then click this button in the Start New Project wizard in Flare. After this, find and select that template. When you're finished with the wizard, your new project will have all of the same files and settings from the template that you selected. Before we go, there is one final thing that we want to point out. When you create a new project based on most of Flare's factory templates, you might notice a template instructions PDF that's been added to the Content Explorer. Take a look at the PDF for steps on quickly rebranding the projects with your own company's color, logo, and so on. When you're finished with the instructions, you can delete this file from the Content Explorer. That's pretty much it. Just remember, nothing is etched in stone when it comes to these templates. They simply exist to help you get started with your own projects. You might even want to create some test projects in the beginning using different templates. Take some time to play around with the files and features and see what they're about. 
build output and see what it looks like and how it works. And don't be afraid to add, change, or remove things as you see fit.